okay, we're going to uh, do a transom knot. This is a good knot for making uh, frames and lashing two pieces of stick t sticks together. Um, so I'm just going to undo this and run you through it. Okay. Essentially, you'll have a vertical standing in and a horizontal piece, crossbar like so. Take your cordage, run it around the vertical top part here like so. And you want to have a decent amount to uh, work with of cordage. And then you're going to run this over the horizontal bar and be over and up. Uh, over uh, on top of and behind both the standing in of your cordage and the vertical part or vertical bar okay now you're going to what happens is you there's an X or a figure eight that's created here you're going to take this in here and run it straight up the middle and cinch it okay. that's essentially your transom knot Now, to make this knot more functional, uh, for, especially if you want to make it um, weight-bearing, you will have to reinforce the ends and the, 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 um, the openings in the knot here. So what I would do is take a bit of the cordage and just kind of run a god's eye around, like so. Just like so, you just kind of wrap it. It's like a God's eye. You're making one, and you do this maybe two or three times, like so. Okay, I'm just go to the back, flip it over, and then this is where I would go ahead and I would tie this off. And I'm just doing an overhand knot, and then another overhand knot, like so, just to kind of knot it together. I would snip these ends, and this would provide me with enough friction to be a little bit more weight or load-bearing.